Hi everyone, this is Andy with Bloomberg.com and today we're going to review Salesforce CRM for small businesses. This is a really powerful CRM that will help you managing your leads, deals, contacts and a lot more. It is also very customizable so you can adapt it to your sales process. Let's start. I mentioned in the intro that we are reviewing Salesforce CRM for small businesses. But I also wanted to mention that Salesforce has other products that combined together form the Customer 360 solution. The small business solution that we're reviewing today does not include all the products, but it does include all the CRM related products like the sales app and the service app that combined make up a really good CRM. I also wanted to clarify that when I do these reviews, I spend the same amount of time on each of them. But in this case, I wasn't able to set up everything I wanted to because Salesforce is a really advanced platform that will require a lot of time to get everything up and running. However, I cover all the basics. When you log in, you start on the homepage where you can find information about your sales as well as news related to records you have in the CRM. On the top bar, you will find a navigation bar. This icon allows you to move between apps. Currently, we are in the sales app. You can also find all the different objects available in the module, like contacts, accounts, and opportunities. On the top right, you will find these icons that will let you add records, learn about Salesforce, access the settings, see notifications, and edit your profile. On the top of the screen, you will find the search bar that you can use at any time to search for your records. To open an object, just click on it and the list of records will show up. You have options to filter the contacts or change the view to suit your needs. To add a contact, click on the button and complete the fields. To open a record, just click on it. Here you can find all the information about the record as well as related info like opportunities, files, notes and cases. On the right of the screen, you will find the activity section where you can log calls or create tasks. When you hover over some elements, you will be able to quickly see some information about the record. When you open the Opportunities object, you can see a list of opportunities in a Kanban view. Salesforce is not the best looking CRM out there, and the design of some pages in the settings is outdated. But it gets the job done, and it is easy to get used to the user interface. Here are some of the features that I like the most. Salesforce for small businesses come with several apps that you can use to keep track of your sales and customers. The main two are the Service Console app and the Sales app. The Service Console allows you to keep track of all the cases or tickets that your customers generate, so you make sure all of them get a response. When you open records, they stay open in the top bar, so you can go back and forth between them. You can also create your own articles that you can use to respond to your tickets and troubleshoot customer issues. Another feature is filters. You can create your own filters that are really customizable, so you can find the information that you need really quickly. A cool feature I like is that when you click on the arrow next to the object, it shows the recent records that you open, the recent lists, and you can add a new record right away. A few more features that I wanted to mention are customization, which we're going to go over later in the video, as well as security that is really important in Salesforce, but it could make it difficult for small businesses that don't have a dedicated IT personnel. And finally, the dashboards that will show you a lot of information about your sales. Let's talk about customization. Salesforce is really customizable, so it can adapt to your sales process. In the settings, you will find all the options available. You have a lot of options regarding to the objects, like adding, editing, or removing fields. You can also change the layout, so the information is displayed the way you want. And you can change other things, like adding buttons and links, creating compact layouts, and more. You also have the option to create and modify relationships and objects in the app using the Scheme Builder. Under the user interface, you can change the app menu, create labels, change your record page settings, and more. You can also create email templates that you can use later on to respond to your contacts. And you can change a lot of settings about the company like business hours, holidays, language, color and logos, and even add your own domain. I just mentioned a few ways to customize the CRM, but keep in mind that there are so many more options available. The only issue with that is that you will need some time and some training to learn all the features. Okay, let's review the automations. We have an entire section just for automations in the settings. There are two main features here. 
The first one is flows. You can create very complex flows that will automate processes across all your apps and objects. You can create simple flows like sending notifications or very complex flows like creating a new case. There are a lot of options to choose from regarding triggers and actions. The second feature I wanted to mention is Process Builder. Here you can create simpler processes compared to flows. You won't have as many options as with flows. You can send email notifications, create and update records, and even start another process. Automations is one of the most powerful features of Salesforce and will allow you to streamline your process and be more efficient. Salesforce is one of the most popular CRMs out there, so there are a lot of developers interested in making integrations for this CRM. In the Salesforce App Exchanger, you will be able to find a lot of apps that work with Salesforce. Just keep in mind that a lot of these apps are paid. If the CRM doesn't do everything you want, these apps are going to give you the extra functionality you're looking for. In the settings, you will also find the integrations section where you can set up the APIs and link external data sources and objects. If you are the admin, you're not going to have it easy comparing Salesforce with other CRMs. There is a lot to learn about Salesforce because it has so many features available. But this is the price to pay if you want to have a tailored sales process. After you set everything up, maintaining the CRM is not difficult. But if you're not planning to customize the CRM a lot, you can start using Salesforce out of the box as long as you need to set up processes, email notifications, or adding custom functions. Creating users and groups is straightforward, as well as creating and editing objects, changing the layout disposition, and adding or removing fields. And if you have any issues, you can check the tips that are in almost every part of the settings section. The last thing we're going to go over is pricing. As I mentioned before, we're using the solution for small businesses. The monthly cost for the professional plan is $75 per user per month, billed annually. I wasn't able to find a way to get monthly billing prices, but you can call support and see if that's available. This CRM is one of the most expensive out there, considering that you're only getting a few apps for $75 a month, and if you want the full suite of apps, you have to pay extra for a lot of them. Also, remember that a lot of the most useful integrations are paid, but Salesforce has a great support team and there is a lot of information out there about how to use the system, so you're paying extra for those features. I normally work with small and medium businesses and I do not recommend Salesforce to them. This CRM is one of the most advanced out there, but it will require one or multiple people to implement the system and set up all the features that come with it. Maybe some medium businesses that are tech oriented would benefit from Salesforce because they already have the technical department available, but there are other options out there for small businesses. Don't get me wrong, if you would like to use Salesforce in a small business, you can definitely do it, and it would work fine if you don't customize it a lot, but you will be missing out a lot of features. Also, during this review, I spent a lot of time setting up things that I normally spend minutes in other CRMs. It seems that having so many features makes everything a little bit more complex. Other alternatives for small businesses are Pipedrive and HubSpot. I already reviewed both CRMs, so I will leave links in the description. Another good alternative, if you want a high level of customization, is Soho CRM. I also did a review of Soho as well, so I will leave a link in the description. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, please leave a thumbs up. I have a question for you. Are you currently using a CRM? And if you do, which one are you using? Let me know in the comments down below. And also, please remember to check out the other videos I have on this channel. Thanks for watching.